So now we're gonna get to the fun part, actually how to climb, which is the whole point why you're watching this video. So the first thing we're gonna go over is the three golden rules of climbing. The first golden rule is you wanna keep your arms straight. So if you imagine a monkey climbing around, they're never really pulling on things, they always have straight arms and they're kind of swinging. So when you're holding onto climbing holds, you wanna make sure that when you grab something, you're never really pulling into the wall using that arm muscle because the whole point of climbing is to conserve your energy. So holding into like this, it's just gonna exhaust you really, really quick and you're not gonna be able to get up halfway up the wall. So the idea is you wanna relax, straighten your arm. Straight arms does two things. It puts the weight now here on your fingers and it shifts it to your shoulders. So you're not pulling yourself into the wall anymore. You're relaxed and hanging just off your fingers. And two, by relaxed position, it does relax your body. So you remain a lot more calm when you're climbing around on the wall. So now we'll go over the second golden rule of climbing. It's all about locating your center of gravity. Now what I mean is if you're holding onto the wall and you get your feet up, if you're kind of letting your butt just stick out, what's gonna happen is gravity is naturally gonna pull you away. So if you ever let go, you're gonna have the force just ripping you off the wall. So the idea is, instead of just having your hips square to the wall with your butt sticking out, you actually wanna rotate your hips in. Now this is gonna pull your center of gravity into the wall, and it also does something else. By bringing your center of gravity to the wall, it makes it way easier to hold on and manage your weight. But also, when you're reaching, if I'm reaching with my right hand, my right hip should be to the wall. That gives me the most natural body extension. If I wanted to switch and rotate my feet, I just place my feet and rotate my other hip to the wall. Again, this is for if I'm holding with my left hand, left hip to the wall. If I want to go back, right hand, right hip to the wall. When you're placing your feet, you're going to be stepping not on your heel or the middle, but on the toe area of your shoe. Now what that's going to do is actually give you extra inches when you're trying to reach for things. For example, if I'm stepping here, I'm in the middle of my foot, not on my toe box, I can't reach any higher to grab anything else. If I take the time to place my toes on pieces, now I can actually push with my toes and I get extra inches to reach with. Another thing is when you're stepping with your toes, most people just step on your big toe on the piece. Now remember we were talking earlier about the idea of squaring your hips to the wall and it's gonna be pulling you away. Well, a really cool technique what you can do is instead of stepping with your big toe, is actually rotate your foot and step on your pinky. By stepping on your pinky toe, it's called a back step. Now what this does is you're going from here on your big toe to rotating to your pinky. And if you noticed, it pulled my hip into the wall, so now I'm no longer fighting gravity, and it's gonna give me those extra inches I need with the less amount of energy.